In 1 Corinthians 2, verse 16, it says, We have the mind of Christ. Well, what does that mean? It means that your human mind is not an isolated island. It's not all alone. That its thinking can be combined with that of God. If, in our free will, we allow it. Well, we allow it right now. If a person is facing a decision that's so important in their lives, they often will first look to other people for guidance. Well, the advice or wise counsel of another may be helpful. In the end, each individual must come to his or her own decision, making up their own mind. Right direction about our individual life must come from an intuitive knowing from the Spirit of God with us. No one else on this planet can know exactly what is right for our soul and our own life experience. And they will probably know, not know exactly what we should do. But when we rely upon the all-wise Spirit of God with us, we develop a growing sureness. And we have a sense of direction about our life and about the important decision that we're about to make. We're able to release the thoughts of confusion, release fear, and release uncertainty. And we're able in that moment to listen to the pure guidance of God. And when we listen to that, we're given the direction that is always exactly what we need for our soul, for our life, for our problem. We're given the answer. Quietly and patiently, we wait for the intuitive direction to come to us from God. And in prayerful receptivity, we open up our mind to the light of God and we let it shine in and through us and clearly and in ways meant just for us. The loving, all-wise God reveals the right answers each and every time. I pray today that the all-wise God inspires you with perfect guidance, custom and exact, for your need. God bless you.